right, welcome back again. Uh, so what we're going to talk about this time are enums. Uh, some people pronounce them enums. I like enums, which is short for enumerated type. We're going to look at kind of how they worked in Swift. Uh, so Swift had a lot of things you could do with enums. You could do uh, associated values, which is kind of a complex things. You could put methods on the enums. Uh, you could declare what the raw value was under the hood, things like that. In Objective-C, there's not nearly as many fancy things you can do, uh, but I still like enums. Uh, I like to show them in different ways, uh, and I want to just tell you some things about enums. So we're just going to kind of go into that. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go visit your view controller uh, and switch which you know playground you're running. So if you go into viewcontroller.m, looks like I've got it up here, uh, you can go and comment out all the variable stuff, uh, and you can uncomment uh, enums, right? So we can run those. Uh, if you go look at enums.h, you can see the only thing there is the run function, which is a class method. Uh, and then if you go look at the implementation of the run method, uh, it doesn't really do anything yet. Uh, so what we're going to start doing is we're going to start telling you about the basics of enums. One thing you could do with enums, uh, which it, what we're going to do isn't that dissimilar, is uh, it's in a superset of C, right? So you could type in enum exactly uh, how you did with uh, C. So typically with C, what you did is you kind of combine the uh, enum statement uh, with the type def statement to make a new type. And then if you wanted to make, say, a weekday one, uh, you could add a uh, bunch of days here. I'll just add them real fast. Uh, and so I'd say weekday is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, here is my type def to create a variable of type weekday. So this is how it worked in C. And to be honest, you could do this in Objective-C as well, but there's a couple little improvements we're going to make to it. I know if you happen to know C, this is like, oh yeah, old school. If you don't know C, this is like, whoa, gibberish, uh, but this is how it worked in C. The change that you make uh, in Objective-C is that instead of saying um, enum, uh, you say ns enum. Uh, this is a preprocessor macro that's built in. And it lets you do a couple things. It lets you say what type of integer you want it to be. So it has to be some type of integer. Uh, and then the name of it uh, in the top. And then you put the enum down below. Now, to be honest, that works pretty similar to, to how C works. So it's not really that different. So that's the first improvement we're going to make. We're going to make one more improvement as well. Uh, and that's that these variables uh, are, are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They're global in scope, right? So if I wanted to say... Um, create a variable called weekday, uh, called today, uh, I would just say Monday, right? Um, and you can see that Monday is, you know, global in scope. So like with Swift, you would say like weekday dot Monday. So it's kind of like qualified. Uh, so we could do it this way and that would work fine. Uh, but there's a recommendation that you add some prefix uh, so that you can actually like kind of group these things together because otherwise they're just, they feel very independent. Uh, and Swift, uh, actually, if you wanted to make a bridging header to make it work in Swift, uh, requires that prefix to be the name of the enum, which actually kind of makes sense, right? So now you wouldn't say Monday. Uh, you would actually say, like, weekday Monday. Uh, and you can see that the nice thing about starting them all the same is that here's all the enums, because uh, right in alphabetical order, uh, they just fall right together, right? So if I wanted to say Monday, that would just go there. The way that you use enums uh, is very similar to Swift, uh, I mean any language, uh, and that's that you often use them with a switch statement. You don't have to use them with a switch statement, but enums and switches kind of go hand in hand, right? So you end up using them a lot with switches. You can use them with if statements as well, uh, but I'm going to use switches here. Uh, and so I'll just say weekday Monday. You can see that the nice thing about this ns enum is it makes the compiler totally understand what you're doing. Um, and it makes code completion go much better. So I just say capital W, uh, it, it just gives me my five choices, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say on Monday, I'll just print out a little log uh, that says you have class. If I also wanted to make that uh, log happen on other days, uh, I would use uh, fall through. Uh, so I would actually just say like Monday and Tuesday uh, and then Thursday. I think it's neat how the list gets shorter uh, as I've already started to add things to it, which is kind of cool. Uh, so it says you have class, and then you will notice that there is a break statement on here as well. Go ahead and finish this up to match what we did in Swift. Uh, we added a, a Wednesday that had a log that said weekend Wednesday. 
and then I'll add a break statement after that. The only case left is, of course, Friday, but just to show the default statement, uh, I'll go ahead and catch that in the default. Uh, and I think that I said there, enjoy your weekend. Great, so let's go ahead and try this guy out. Uh, so if you want to try it out, uh, you just need to run it. So I just hit Command R uh, and ran it. It does the same thing that it always does, and it brings up a, a little screen that says there's no UI, only logs. Uh, and you can see that the logs currently say you have class. Uh, that's because I have it in as Monday. Uh, if I change it to Wednesday, uh, run it again, it should say weekend Wednesday. Uh, and then no shock if I change it to Friday, uh, it should say enjoy the weekend. Great, and there it is. Uh, so you can leave it in whatever state you want, doesn't really matter to me. Uh, but that is uh, enums uh, and switch statements. The only other thing I wanted to talk about uh, are raw values. And raw values are actually much easier in uh, Objective-C, and that's because they're always just numbers. Uh, by default, the first one is zero, uh, and then it goes through there. And then to be honest, like you could, you could put in numbers here just as easy. So if I put in uh, one, uh, and then I ran it, uh, that would actually just be the same as saying Tuesday, right? So Tuesday you have class. So really, um, th these are kind of like pound defines uh, for integer values. So switching back and forth is, is trivially easy. Uh, so if I put in four, uh, that would be Friday. The danger of using integers in this way is, of course, getting something outside of bounds. So it's not necessarily recommended, uh, and it kind of defeats the purpose of enums, uh, but you could do it if you wanted. Uh, and likewise, if you wanted to get the raw value out, uh, that's trivially easy. Uh, you could just print it. Uh, you could use %d. It's going to yell at me uh, with the compiler because uh, it's of type ns integer, uh, which on this system is a long. Um, so there's a couple ways to fix it. I kind of like that you can click on it and you can just let it fix it for you. Uh, so it suggested you could fix it by saying ld. Um, you could also cast it uh, as some other variable type if you wanted. But to be honest, I really don't care about things like that. Just for a log. I mean, who really cares? Uh, so you can see the raw value of today is 3, uh, so I must have set it to Thursday. So 0, 1, 2, 3, Thursday. Great, so that's kind of all I wanted to tell you uh, about enums. Uh, I will kind of give you a heads up to something we're going to do later, uh, and that's if you start doing mix and match uh, with Swift, uh, and you actually like use the enum in this format, it will come out in Swift uh, just beautifully, and it's an enum you could use in Swift. Uh, we'll get to that when we get there, but I think there's some really neat things coming uh, once we start mixing and matching Swift and Objective-C. All right, that's it for enums. We'll see you next time.